So welcome or welcome back to Btide and in this video we are going to have a look at the positional voice chat system that is introduced in the update 1.3 of uh, EOS voice integration kit. The update is uh, will be live on marketplace in a few hours. We have already submitted the files so it will take a few hours for marketplace to review it and uh, post it out. And for GitHub it would be coming in a week so uh, from now on all the updates would be a week before on the marketplace because we have got a lot of purchases and I need to be uh, like just give the marketplace users a little bit um, uh, upper hand so but anyways even if you use the github version it would be out very soon a week is not a uh, large time if you look at the one year period without it so the voice system like this uh, positional voice chat is is not supported by uh, EOS SDK itself but they do support you in modifying the voice so they allow you to modify the audio that is coming inside the unreal engine and that is how we have modified it and made it to work with positional voice chat systems uh, i don't know if you know also uh, in voices the volume thing that unreal engine uh, like in the us sdk itself the volume thing is bugged out that means you can only have three volume levels that is 0 50 and 100 and zero means that no volume is coming out 100 means some volume is coming out and 50 means uh, uh like a little bit volume or for uh output it's 0 100 and 200 but uh in the next update of evik you will be able to set any volume 0 5 2.3 anything else uh, because that is very much important for uh games so let's talk about the positional voice chat system in the current update so i will just play as a uh, standalone uh, you can play it in viewport not an issue but i just wanted to show the logs uh, also before that let me just close this i wanted to show one thing so in uh, the current update you can you have an option to make anything a source object so for while you are debugging the game or while you are uh, like working on it you cannot have always have two players uh, to check your voice system so you can uh, enable the eco mode now how to do that is already in the documentation page of our plugin but you can enable the debug uh, sorry the uh, eco mode and then you can select a cube so this cube uh, basically will act as a test cube and you just need to add a tag to it which is named test cube you can copy the name from the documentation itself now when you have done that, you need to go to your third person character. Uh, yeah. And you can see some utter nonsense logics here. Do not worry about it. You just need to call this function. Uh, update positional voice chat system. So if you plan to use the voice chat system, you just need to get a EIK voice subsystem reference. You can get the max hearing distance like uh, so positional voice chat usually means at some level you have a volume very low and at some level you have a very high. So as you move for, uh, away from it, it should become low. So you need to set this max hearing distance and this is the debug cube. So if you enable this, uh, it will find a cube with a tag of test cube. And if you want to use the positional chat, you need to call this event. Then one more event that you need to call is, uh, is in the game mode you need to update your player list. So every time a new player joins uh, using this event on post login, you can get their controlled character. You need to pass their player name. So currently I am passing it without taking a reference because uh, I'm going to test it locally just to show you guys. So I just pass in the player name and then I just uh, call the setup player list. Now this is required for the positional voice chat system because we need uh, the actor reference because uh, in the current implementation of the online subsystem us voice chat plugin you cannot get the reference of the character that is using this player name so you need to pass his player name and then which actor it is in reality so we just do that simply we just get the controlled pawn and pass in the player actor now if you do not know how to get the player name from the character itself you can just cast to your own player controller and get the reference of the voice chat name from there that said uh, i think that would be enough let's I mean the testing because I think most of you are eager to see that. So let's play as a standalone. So we have two print, print strings. One is the positional volume chat 
and the second one is uh, basically the distance from the cube so firstly it will take 5 to 10 seconds to get the us voice chat started so that's uh, my thing i put have put a delay for that so as you can see uh, okay so the voice chat has started it says done so in between you can see you get a 3555 3535 uh, distance to the cube and the positional volume scale is zero now because it is getting updated every frame so that's why you can see a lot of print strings going on whereas the distance to the cube is getting updated only 0 0.2 seconds so it, that's why uh, it's that way now also you i will just open up the obs to show you one thing so this is my obs uh, i will enable the desktop volume so you are able to hear it but as you can see the desktop volume also says zero now now i will just move closer to that cube you can see the uh, distance to cube decreasing i will make it full screen maybe for uh no that doesn't help but okay so it's now some you would be able to hear something i hope you are hearing me twice and if I move forward, backward, now the scale becomes 3152 again. And if I go closer, it's now under 3000. And you can start to hear me some. And that is also shown on this OBS. Let me just move back a little bit. And you can see my volume going away. And I will now go closer to the cube by speaking. So hopefully you are able to see that difference. So, so you already saw the volume became a lot too high. So that is how the positional voice chat system works in Unreal. Now uh, I am a little bit away from that cube, but the and the positional voice chat scale is 0 0.13. Now if you think it's too loud, uh, you can you can easily modify. Uh, okay, this bug is already solved, so don't need to worry about that. So you can set it in this thing or uh, you can make the max hearing uh, distance to be 1000 and then it would start from your closer point or you can make it 2000 something like that. So my current distance is le uh, 2341 so yeah, now the scale is coming up to zero if i go closer the scale starts going up and now you can hear me probably twice and now the volume goes on increasing do this, do this. so the so scale, 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 scale is very high, high. Uh, uh, I will move away from the cube and just uh, show you something. So that this system works. Now in the next update of the EVIK, we are planning to add all the other audio effects that normally games require, like attenuation settings and specialization and everything. Sorry, um, for the term spellings and things like that, I'm very weak at it. Um, but of course, we have someone who uh, knows about sound double much better than me. So we would be adding the sound settings uh, and would even give you more control over the sound system with within like uh, one or two updates. But this itself is a very big thing. Uh, if you want to trust it out, marketplace is available for now. You can get verified on Discord also if you want the complete example project. But uh, that said, thanks a lot for watching. GitHub update is also coming very soon. Uh, EOS integration kit is also getting anti-cheat feature next week. So happy for that also. And that said, thanks a lot for everyone who purchased the plugin on the marketplace. Uh, see you in the next video. We are uh, also, if you want some specific features implemented in the kit or any of the two kits or any of the upcoming kits, you can post it in the request channel. Uh, we have implemented a lot of features seeing at that thing uh, and implemented it. Positional voice chat was also one of the requested features and that's why we did it. So that said, thanks a lot for watching this video.